pass it through under the head. We're going to fold this one in so that it doesn't bend the, the strips on the heat exchanger on the back. And pass it on the other side. There we are. When we lift it, we want to make sure that the uh, strap doesn't bend any of the ribs behind the electronics box. So I'm feeding the strap in as far in as I can behind it. Okay. Make sure that they're equal on both sides so that you're not going to be tilting everything uh, when it's lifted. What I also find useful is to lift the head slightly so that the crane can then come and grab the uh, shackles easier. And to do that, make sure that the um, locks are free and then just lift it up. If you've got a digital readout, make sure that when you're lifting, the quill doesn't bend the digital readout arm. So keep an eye on that. Doesn't need to lift too much. But at least now the shackles are nice and free. And we can put the hook of the crane through there. One of the most difficult parts of installing your milling machine onto the base is aligning the holes in the drip tray with the holes in the base and of course in the base of the milling machine. Even just placing it, the um, drip tray on the base is quite difficult. Once you find the holes, what I suggest you do is you cut some threaded bar about 4 inches, 100 millimeters long, and install those bars into the holes and thread them in. This will keep the drip tray from moving around, but it will also give you a locating feature for the milling machine once you come to bring it to seat. And then, once that's done, you can either leave the studs in and put a nut over the top of them, or you can use the screws that are supplied with the base to seat it. The temptation is to bring the crane in from the front of the machine, however if you look at the position of the machine on the crate, it's much easier and the distance between the crane and the machine is shorter if you come in from the back. So we've got all that sorted, all that ready, and all we need to do now is lift. check that the chip strips are locked. And we can lift them. saying it's easier to have the studs to align everything because you're going to have to see where the holes are and then gently release the crane. If you've got two people it'll be much safer. 